Hello, everyone. Welcome to Manage the Wild. I'm your host, Nick Madsen. Bighorn sheep are being moved into a nursery facility in Utah. So in Box Elder, which is in the northern part of Utah, there's a little strip of land that goes down into the Great Salt Lake. And a bunch of private donations, as well as some uh, other groups have gotten together, and they are working with the Utah Division of Wildlife to form what they call a nursery herd. All this land is on private land, but what they're going to do is they're going to completely fence off this land, and they're going to bring a roughly 150, they're hoping to get up to 150 bighorn sheep in this area. And what they're hoping to do is to have a nursery population where they can be free of disease and they can grow bighorn sheep and they can move them to areas that need to be repopulated or areas that they need to do some transplants or just populations that need some a little a little help so to speak um not too long ago back in oh 2020 uh they had a die-off um where they had a movie on antelope island they ended up having to wipe out the whole population they ended up bringing some more in and Antelope Island was supposed to be that nursery spot, but sheep are, because the Great Salt Lake is uh, losing a lot of its water, it's being depleted. Animals are able to now cross from other areas, and there's a lot of sheep owners and um, wool growers in that area, and the goats and sheep are wandering onto Antelope Island, and the sheep themselves are wandering off of Antelope Island. That's how the infection happened. And so they were looking to bolster these different populations that are struggling from all these diseases, basically pneumonia-based diseases. So uh, they got together. The area in Box Elder County is roughly 1,000 acres. And they're calling it a feeder herd. And they're just going to disperse these animals as they get large enough uh, to be able to move. Some populations are going to need some ewes and some lambs, and they're going to move them. Some are going to need some rams, and they're just going to move them all over. They said that absolutely no hunting will be done on this property. That was the one concern I had. I first heard about nursery populations back, they were talking about it back in 2018 or 19, and to be able to bring it onto private property because the state didn't have a big enough area and enough funding to be able to do it on state and federal property. So they were looking to do it on private lands. But one of the things that a lot of the private landowners wanted was uh, a tag every three to five years. Um, And then they would disperse it amongst the landowners. And so this would give you they they estimated the cost for these tags would be between two, three, maybe four hundred thousand dollars, depending on how large these rams got. And I was I wasn't happy about that because putting it on private property, a lot of uh, people who are interested in bighorn sheep won't have the opportunity to go and view these um, these bighorn sheep these rams and be able to take pictures because it was on private property so they wouldn't have access they also wouldn't be able to hunt but yet the landowner was then going to turn around and so it was almost felt in the early stages that this was going to privatize wildlife uh, like it already has there's no question it already has and so i was not a big fan of this and you could see some of the players had a lot of money and they were just trying to line their pockets with more money. I'm glad uh, the way it's worked out now where they are fencing it off. They started down in Duchesne County uh, back in 2021. They announced that they were going to work with uh, Sky Rider Wilderness Ranch in Duchesne, and that was about roughly 1,800 acres, and ultimately, I guess they felt moving them to Deseret where they could completely um, fence it off and protect those sheep seem to be the better move for them. So uh, the sheep have been captured and they have been moved. Um, they were also doing some captures. They're working 
with uh, some other places to possibly bolster that uh, population and do some translocations there. But they're hoping to get up to 100, 150 animals. And then as they come to maturity, uh, they are going to start dispersing them through across the state. So uh, ultimately, the way this worked out was a lot better for everyone. Um, just getting rid of the money aspect. Uh, a lot of the, the money came in was donations to the landowners to pay for blocking off their land. So the one thing I was concerned is the state was just now going to be hogtied and they weren't going to be able to pull these animals off because they were going to go to court and whatever. And uh, a bunch of different sport groups have stepped in to fund this and pay for the fencing and pay for the land and help the landowners recoup those costs that they're going to lose. And so ultimately the state can now just focus on growing uh, bighorn sheep, which is difficult no matter where you could, where you are. Um, they are on private property and the area that they are held at is very difficult to access. And so most of the time, the majority of the time, I don't think these animals will be uh, able to be viewed by the public or even get close. And so there is that concern there that we are putting these animals away from the public. But sometimes you have to do these type of things, I guess, to be able to uh, help preserve bighorn sheep because bighorn sheep, bighorn sheep, because their population is on the decline. So whatever we can do, that would be fabulous. Hope you guys have a great day. Stay wild.